The UN Charter guarantees equal treatment to all nations. Yet the Human Rights Council passes more resolutions against Israel than all other countries combined. Terrorism by Hamas and Hezbollah is ignored by the UN. UN Watch restores the ideals of the Council's founders. Founding Chair Eleanor Roosevelt stood with Israel and its right to self-defense. Rene Kassah, architect of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, defended Israel's right to equality. When the UN began to persecute the Jewish state, the founders spoke out. Today, many UN member states and officials betray the founders' values. For years, Council official Jean Ziegler supported Hezbollah and numerous dictators. UN Watch tirelessly exposed Ziegler's abuses and his role in creating the Muammar Gaddafi Human Rights Prize, terminating his career. Richard Falk is the Council's full-time investigator against Israel, a one-sided mandate that finds Israel guilty in advance. The Palestinian struggle is being waged in a way that I would call part of a legitimacy war and they're winning that war. So it's very important not to denigrate too much uh, the UN efforts. UN Watch leads the opposition to Falk, exposing his support for terrorism and 9-11 conspiracy theories. Given that you played a key role in publishing David Ray Griffin's book, The New Pearl Harbor, the leading conspiracy tract, arguing that 9-11 was an inside job and your name is on the front cover, are you concerned about how your actions impact on the credibility of the United Nations? Thanks to UN Watch action, Falk has been repeatedly condemned by the US, Britain, Canada, even by his own boss. A special rapporteur suggested that there was an apparent cover-up in the 2001 terrorist attacks on the United States. I want to tell you clearly and directly I condemn this sort of inflammatory rhetoric. It is preposterous. Days after the Boston Marathon terrorist attack, Falk blamed the bombings on American global domination and Tel Aviv. UN Watch sparked a firestorm, prompting world leaders to denounce Falk. CJ, Professor Richard Falk's comments were posted online and are now receiving criticism from around the world. Pressure mounted and the United Nations reversed course. The Secretary General rejects uh, Mr. Falk's comments. Special rapporteurs uh, such as Mr. Falk understand that while they have independent status, their public comments can undermine the credibility and the work of the United Nations. UN Watch got him expelled from Human Rights Watch. And finally today, Human Rights Watch, an international non-governmental organization, has removed UN Special Rapporteur on Palestinian Human Rights Richard Falk from one of its local committees. UN Watch, a non-governmental organization based in Geneva that monitors the performance of the United Nations, had called on Human Rights Watch to remove Falk, saying he has been spreading anti-Semitism. Hillel Neuer, executive director of UN Watch, had said that a man such as Falk, who among other things supports the Hamas terrorist organization, has no place in an organization dedicated to human rights. Falk and his supporters are outraged. When the UN calls numerous emergency sessions on Israel, UN Watch counters the bias with high-profile speakers. When the Council issued a report calling Jerusalem occupied, UN Watch brought Nobel Peace Prize laureate David Trimble. It could lead, actually, to the utterly grotesque consequence that the Jewish quarter of Jerusalem should be returned to the desolate condition that existed between 48 and 67. The United Nations and its human rights bodies should be working with others to advance the cause of peace, not to hinder it. When the infamous Goldstone Report excoriated Israel and exonerated Hamas, UN Watch fought the report and changed the debate. I'm the former commander of British forces in Afghanistan. I served with NATO and the United Nations, commanded troops in Northern Ireland, Bosnia and Macedonia, and participated in the Gulf War. Mr. President, based on my knowledge and experience, I can say this. During Operation Cast Lead, the Israeli Defence Forces did more to safeguard the rights of civilians in a combat zone than any other army in the history of warfare. When Colonel Kemp's speech went viral, UN Watch continued to campaign against the Goldstone Report and Judge Goldstone retracted. 
when the Turkish Prime Minister told a UN summit on tolerance that Zionism was a crime against humanity, world leaders were silent. UN Watch broke the story and sparked worldwide condemnations. We need to fight hatred, racism, and anti-Semitism. We need to fight dictatorships and double standards. We need to speak truth to power. We need UN Watch.